good evening quick video about how to clean your bike now it might seem like a very basic simple subject but there are a lot of people out there that in my opinion aren't really doing it right and are potentially causing a bit of damage to their bikes now it's important to realize there's two types of dirt on your bike there's water soluble dirt which is kind of just like mud and gel residue things like that and oil soluble dirt which is anything that comes from the bearings the chain uh, oily road grime that kind of thing and you need to treat them in two different ways so what I do basically is just take just a little dab of wash up liquid in some water and the first thing I do take the garment off don't want to get that wet take the bottle off put that aside and then just give it a good wipe over just to get the worst of the of the dust and the water soluble dirt off underneath the down tube there's always quite a bit of muck and just give it a quick wipe over and then you know that all of that stuff is pretty much gone you can uh, depending on how much you want to how carefully you want to do it you can also do the wheels it's always quite nice to just do the bait the brake track get any muck and dirt off those as well quick dab over the brakes brake dust get rid of that bit of sweat off the handlebar and stem get rid of that and that's really all you need to do for the first stage and then just rinse it off light use of the hose no pressure anywhere just a light sprinkle like that just to rinse off the, any any soap and that's the first stage done and obviously when you finish with the hose you want to put it away or you, you'll get told off so i've got to show you this because I, I love this this is one of my favorite things in life at the moment you just give it a pull and it doesn't work Okay, there we go. And you have a self, follow it. Self uh, tidy hose. So the next stage is, uh, I find it much easier if you, if you take the wheels off, just gives you better access to everything really. Um, I mean, the point is basically don't spray your bike all over with these degreasing products. You don't need to buy expensive products and you don't need to spray your bike all over with these degreasers because what happens is, is that they will eventually work their way into bottom bracket, the um, jockey wheels, down cables and you don't want to be stripping the grease off your bike everywhere. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, long term, it's not going to do your bike any favours. So all we're doing now basically is getting off all the oily, greasy stuff. And I just use WB40. Um, it's a multi-purpose product that does a lot of different things quite well. Um, I know it causes no harm to the, to the paintwork or the bike. And as, and as long as you target it accurately where it needs to be used, Um, you can just get rid of all the oily, all the oily residues. Um, without flushing solvents through your bearings and just get it all off like that. Obviously avoid getting any near the brake pads. And then your best friend in cleaning is an old toothbrush. Um, any toothbrush, none get thrown away in our house. They all come down to me. And um, they're brilliant just for getting right in to all the nooks and crannies. Just liberal quantities of WD. And you'll find all the, all the muck just kind of runs off. And you're actually kind of 
lubricating some of these light pivots here at the same time. These don't have any grease in them. As far as the chain goes, what I tend to do is I'll just clean that once every three or four weeks. I'll just take it off, um, put it in a tank of diesel or, or white spirit, completely clean it off. And then I dunk it in um, uh, a container of engine oil and let that soak in, wipe off the excess, put it back on. It's fantastic for about a week. Um, once the oil wears off, then I will reactivate it with either a bit of WD or put on um, an actual chain lubricant, um, just a very small amount, and then it's good for another couple of weeks, and then I'll repeat the process. So there's no, there's no point cleaning it in situ like this. Um, so yeah, you know that's that's basically it. It's a bit more time-consuming. It's a bit more painstaking going around like this, just targeting in individual areas. Um, but it's far better than just chucking loads of degrease all over your bike and um, basically hitting targets that you don't really want to hit. So um, just spend a bit of time on it and it will, it will all be nice and shiny and you'll be the envy of your mates before you know it. So if anyone saw last week's video where we brought this tree down um, I have now started to uh, chop away at it and it's not finished yet and I'm still not quite sure exactly what it's going to end up looking like but um, that's kind of what it looks like at the moment and the idea is to get a sort of organic kind of uh, S shape thing going on. I think I'm going to make the top kind of spiky. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, it's chestnut, so it should resist the weather quite well. Um, and we've got a hell of a lot of sawdust down here and um, bits and pieces. But hopefully, in time, it might look quite nice. <laughs>